Teachers and administrators at the Kumasi Technical University have defied a directive by the National Labor Commission to resume work. Our Shanti Regional Correspondent Ibrahim Abubakar, who visited the campus, reports lecture halls in the university remain under lock and key. The National Labor Commission, NLC, directed the Technical University Teachers Association of Ghana, TUTAG, and the Technical University Administrators to call off their strike. The commission indicated that government would be working to migrate qualified members to the single spine pay structure and pay them their allowances by January 29. But at the Kumasi Technical University, lecture halls were still under lock and key, compelling students to go into private studies to prepare for their end of semester exams. The Kumasi Technical University chairman of TUTAG, Dr. Smart Sapong, said leadership will deliberate on the matter at their national congress on Thursday. National's position has been that, yes, our lawyer has reported back to us. We have a congress coming Thursday. We will deliberate upon the ruling, even though it is full of defects, so incomplete of a ruling. We will still deliberate on it and we will communicate the outcome to the general public. TUSAG chairman at the institution, Isaac Owusu, said members remain on strike until further notice. Last Friday year we were in a meeting with NLC on our issue. They gave a verbal ruling in the room. But when we came out, uh, what was given to us, the written one, had some um, anomalies. So we had to send it back to the executive secretary of NLC. Uh, he admitted the mistakes and said he was going to correct them and then get back to us. So as we speak, we don't have any ruling. Tutag and Tusag declared indefinite strike last week in protest over non-payment of allowances due to its members following the conversion of polytechnics into technical universities. The members were upset government did not comply with an earlier ruling by the NLC to ensure they receive allowances due them from December 2019, January 2020 and February 2020.